In the morning, looking around, it seemed long hair is as culturally important here as it was in Russia, if not more so. Nalima explained that in South India, the main measure of a woman's beauty isn't her face or her figure, it's actually her hair. Simply put, the longer your hair, the better your marriage prospects. But despite the value placed on hair, it seems that for some reason, many women are prepared to chop it off. So much so, there are actually factories that process the hair. This one alone sorts through 200,000 heads worth every year. George is the man in charge, overseeing the operation to shampoo, condition, brush, and blow dry mountains of matted hair. So you know how to look after women's hair? Yes, you're an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Do all the women usually dress like this every day or is it yes. just because they're new cameras? That's a traditional thing, no one must. With all these Sally embellishments and stuff, oh, it's really, really <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and the I don't say beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I like working <laughs> <laughs> you want to know, is your hair extended? No, it's my hair, it's my hair! <laughs> it's my hair, you can touch it if you like. Uh, I might not have been wearing extensions then, but I had bought my lottery hair with me, and I wondered if George could give me any clues about its origins. Well, this section is our, the most important section of oh. our business. Recently, I wore some hair extensions, mm -hmm. and um, and this is the hair. And basically, I've been told that it came from Chennai, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to know if you could help me narrow it down. Okay. Now, for starters, is whether it's Remy or non Remy. Remy is the t jargon uh -huh. used by the industry uh -huh. to call the hair which is head, and the tail portion are kept intact. It is from the temple. It's from its temple hair. Yes. Okay. My extensions were the same type of hair that was being processed in this factory. These ponytails had all been sacrificed at Hindu temples in a practice called tonsuring. 